The world's greatest challenges are met by civil and environmental engineers. I'm talking about problems like adapting to climate change, providing safe drinking water and sanitation, addressing the aging infrastructure problem. At Illinois, our curriculum is designed to meet today's societal needs, but also to create the engineering leaders of tomorrow. Civil engineers are responsible for designing, building, and improving our essential infrastructure such as roads, airports, bridges, water, electricity, and communication systems. Uh, civil engineers might use their expertise to improve a city sewer system so that roads don't flood after a severe storm. And they might find a way to incorporate new materials into construction projects to reduce our impact on the environment. Um, our daily lives are filled with examples where civil engineers have left their mark. In my career, we've, I've been involved in many, many projects which have which actually changed cities. The building I'm perhaps best known for is the Burj Khalifa, which is the uh, world's tallest building. And it totally changed that city and that country and that region. And it's, it's one of the world markers. I would encourage most people essentially if you are very passionate about, let's say, the environment and, and, and passionate about, you know, uh, making a difference in society. Um, I, I would encourage them to do civil and environmental engineering. It's not a bad idea to incorporate other fields, which actually our program also does encourage us to take other courses from outside of uh, civil engineering, but you can implement them into civil engineering. If you were thinking about going into something like electrical or computer engineering as opposed to civil and environmental engineering, I would just simply remind you to look around and, and remember that all of this was created, designed by civil engineers. If you're interested in how things impact the real world around us, and obviously those other fields have real world implications, but if you're interested in seeing uh, stuff that's concrete, if you're interested in seeing stuff that is literally concrete, uh, then I think this is a good field for you to do hands-on work and uh, have some visible impact in the world. One thing that really stood out to me with U of I was the engineering career fair and also civil engineering has their own specific um, civil engineering career fair, which gave me the opportunity to get all of my internships and my future job offer from. So that was something that really drew me um, to this department. So the uh, career prospects for civil engineering and those students that are graduating with a civil engineering degree are very, I would say, prosperous. Um, the civil engineering field is one that is of particular pressure right now as some of the um, older generations of infrastructure are aging and um, needing to either be rehabilitated or replaced. Um, all civil engineering employers that, um, that I have discussed with and that I deal with on a daily basis are in extreme competition for um, the best talent that is coming out of, um, of the universities and in particular the University of Illinois. The degree from Illinois has definite brand recognition. When you graduate from civil engineering, you come with a recognition and a brand that is well known throughout the country, throughout the world uh, for excellence and for prestige and when you put your resume in, when you have that degree listed on there, there comes with a certain expectation and the person reading that resume knows exactly the type of engineer they're gonna get. Um, I've seen in personal experience that graduates from Illinois, those resumes quickly get pulled to the top of a pile. At Illinois, our students not only learn how to design, assess and repair bridges and roads, but they're starting to think about how to change those designs to accommodate fleets of autonomous vehicles in the future, or to use artificial intelligence to improve the construction process. If you're gonna create something that has never been done before, you have to go back to first principles. You have to have a, a good, solid understanding of, of engineering mechanics and physics and, and mathematics. And I got that from the University of Illinois.